Meet the Propelli, a powerful 3D printable wind turbine made by From Waste to Wind. The Propelli is made for off-grid energy production. When natural disasters like earthquakes or tsunamis strike, people often end up in bad quality housing and energy poverty. Short-term shelter often turns into a small village that needs electricity. Also for houses on remote places, energy access is often a problem. This means that basic needs like having light in the dark or charging a phone can't be fulfilled. With solar panels only, there is no electricity at night or when the sky is clouded. Also, mining rare earth minerals is bad for the environment. Therefore, we came up with the Propelli. It is specially designed for charging a 12 volt battery. It can power a fridge, some light bulbs and charge a phone. The design is open source and can be printed on any basic 3D printer. It has been tested and proven to work during the last half year. It uses ferret magnets instead of neos made of rare earth minerals. The generator and blades are printed with biodegradable PLA. A controller prevents the wind turbine from reaching too high speeds in storms and protects the battery against over-discharge. Similarly as COVID face shields, being mass-produced by the community, this wind turbine can be rapidly made in times of crisis. Printing is easy. It can be done with default settings in any slicer. The generator is divided into four parts. First, we will attach two quarters to each other. We will weld them together with a product called dichloromethan. It creates a chemical bond between both parts. We dissolve some PLA in it, in a two-on-one ratio to make it slightly gap filling. First, we press the two parts of the generator firmly together. After that, Holding it in place for half a minute is enough to make the bond. When both halves are made, we can attach them together to finish the generator piece by pressing firmly again and hold it for a little bit. Before we begin with the blades, we take some time to relax and bring out the inner child. Now we will use the same process to bond the blade pieces together into one strong part. We have five pieces that we will stack on top of each other. While we are building, we make sure that the pieces are properly aligned in all directions. After 24 hours, the weld will be strong enough to hold the blades. They can be welded or bolted onto the generator. A weld is stronger, but comes at the cost of replaceability. The blades are carefully placed in the generator so that each blade is at the same height. We have to work fast, because the product that makes the bond evaporates quickly. After this, the magnets are fitted into the generator, and later we will cover them with the same glue we used before to prevent them from flying out. To ensure the bearing makes a perfect fit, it is firstly placed in a separate part. This part is then welded into the generator using the same process we used for the blades and the generator. To finish the build, we make our own coils from copper wire. These are then covered with resin and will fit in between the magnets that we already installed. Propelli 450 for those living remote.